metals when made to react with any acid give out hydrogen gas. Well, that's what they say. Let's try and find out what actually happens. But before that, we are dealing with hydrogen here which is highly flammable. So this activity needs to be done very cautiously. Take some hydrochloric acid in a test tube like this. And now add some pieces of a metal, say zinc. Now what do you see? You see something is happening, a reaction. And some gas is being evolved. If this gas can be sent through a tube like this into soap water, you can see some bubbles forming. And now let's try taking a flame. Now let's take a flame near these bubbles. And wait, do you hear that sound? That popping sound is the sound made by hydrogen when it was burnt. Our reaction in this case would be 2HCl plus zinc gives ZnCl2 which is zinc chloride plus H2 gas. Now let's get our equipment back and let's clean off all the acid from it. And then let's test what happens to a metal like zinc when we mix it with a base. So we will take a base such as sodium hydroxide or NaOH. And then when we put some zinc pieces in it, you can see that some reaction starts to take place. Just like the previous experiment, gases or bubbles are forming when the tube is made to pass through soap water. But let's conduct a test to see if it's really hydrogen gas. Because just the formation of a bubble does not mean that it's hydrogen gas. When we take a fire source like a matchstick or a lighter near it, you can hear a pop sound. This ensures that hydrogen gas was released. So now, we have seen that when a metal reacts with an acid or a base, hydrogen gas is always liberated. In this reaction, we also get the product of a salt. Here it is sodium zincate. The reaction is somewhat like this. 2NaOH plus Zn will give us Na2ZnO2 plus H2. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that hydrogen gas is liberated whenever a metal reacts with an acid or a base. Until next time, happy learning!